ואתה תצווה של אישי. The Torah tells us about the Mi'il. The Mi'il was a beautiful garment that was made out of Techelet. It was made out of blue wool. It looked like the sky. And on bottom it had Pa'amon Verimon. It had a bell and it also had a piece of fabric that looked like a pomegranate. Some say that it was a pomegranate, then a bell, then a pomegranate, then a bell. Some say it was a pomegranate with a bell inside. Look at how many were there, 36, 72. But everybody agrees, and the Gemara in Erechim tells us that this comes lechaper alavon lashonara. This comes to forgive about lashonara. It comes to teach us what we have to do in life. Sometimes we have to be a pa'amun to say the praise of a person, to thank somebody, like a bell making a lot of noise. And sometimes we have to be like a rimon, that we're very quiet, that we don't talk. There's a machloket, how the mi'il was, did it have four corners, was it something that it had sleeves to it, but that Be'ezat Hashem soon will see how the Kohen Gadol is. But the Rambam tells us that it had four corners. And the question to be asked, and think about it, did it have tzitzit on it or it didn't? Because a beged of four corners has to have tzitzit. Does this mi'il have tzitzit on it or not? Then afterwards, va'asita tzitz. Tzitz is a crown that the Kohen used, Gadol used to wear. And it used to say, Kodesh Lashem. Chazal have a big machlok at how it was written. But one thing everybody agrees upon, that it was a piece of gold that was on his forehead from the front until the sides of his ear. Then it was connected with Techelet, someone to say that it was even in the back also. Then it had strings of Techelet, a big machlok at how it was or where it was, where it was placed. But this Kodesh Lashem, the Kohen couldn't lift up his arm on top of it. But one thing was on top of it. The Kohen would wear tefillin and it would be between his mitznefet, between his hat that he would wear, and between the tzitz. Why? The Gemara goes and tells us the tzitz had only one shem, but tefillin has many more shemot. So us in the morning when we sit down with our tefillin, we should feel like a Kohen Gadol that's able to become close to Rebono Sha'olam by us wearing by us wearing tefillin at that time. And then it ends that we have to make a ketonet, that each one has to wear a tunic. Then that ketonet was made out of a very beautiful fabric. It was more like a honeycomb weave, a very hard weave to make in those days and in today's days also. But that's what they wore, the Kohanim used to wear. And then afterwards, they're supposed to have also, but they put it on beforehand, would be mechnesebad, would be pants underneath of all their clothing. It would be like an undergarment for kavod ultifaret.